Hello everyone, this is Chemdork, and welcome to another Buildcraft video. We're going to be working again on the tree farm today, and uh, this time we're going to be doing some pretty significant revisions. And I know we've just like started some revisions, but after um, actually receiving a comment on one of the videos, I learned something that I never knew happened. Um, now I think we, we've spoken at least a bit before on videos where the reason why we need to add, um, well here I'll show you for a second. Let's go into our tree farm as it stands and uh, it's, it looks a little different than when uh, we, we left it. I started running some wires and actually recorded some footage of running wires. So see some wires going up there. There's wires running from that reset switch to that builder. But um, yeah, speaking of this reset, this little, little loop thing that we have here. This is a feature that you have to have for a builder. I think there's there might be actually other ways of doing it, but as far as I know, this is this is a pretty simple and easy way. Um, and uh, but incidentally, I'm not really sure items can get caught up here, but I'm not like too worried about that. But anyways, that's um that's 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 something not not related here. But um, relating to the filler, now the way this tree farm is supposed to work. The filler um, has a funny property where if it finishes its job, you have to manually reset it. You have to actually do this to reset the filler. And that's that's a manual thing, and there's no other way to do it. Or so I thought. It turns out that there actually is a way to do it in Buildcraft version 3 with uh, pipe gates and the new logic implied by pipe gates. I haven't played around with them enough to know this already, but now I did. And it's awesome. Pipe gates are awesome. I love them, I love them, I love them. So we are going to be using these awesome pipe gate features of this filler. What this means, however, for our tree farm is that things get a lot simplified. A lot. Um, as it is, I was just thinking the other day before that, that I'm like, actually, you know, in this new system where I use a blueprint here, I don't need this safety builder at all. Well, it turns out I actually don't need it for another reason. I don't need this safety builder, and I actually don't need the torch builder either, because I don't need a torch up there. What I can do is use the logic of the pipe gates to tell us when the filler has finished, and then automatically have it reset using, again, the pipe gate logic. There are some special things you have to do to this, but... Um, well, it, it might actually be pretty easy to explain in creative mode, so let's go ahead and get into creative mode where I can show you a little bit about fillers and um, how they work and what we're going to do in our tree farm. So we're looking here at a filler in the creative world, and just to demonstrate this purpose. Now, by now, you guys know that fillers have a problem where they will have to be reset after they finish their job, but there's no way to sort of automatically do that. And that's why in our tree farm, in its sort of current design, it's set to re to never need a reset because it stops the filler before it finishes its job. Um, and kind of, I'm going to sort of go through that. Essentially, when we turn this on, this is filler set to remove all these blocks. So if we stop it before it removes all the blocks, and then we can add some more in in the beginning where it's set to remove it'll just go ahead and remove those blocks again. So no problem. And this will work. The way we have it set up in the tree farm, it's going to work right now. But what I want to do is avoid this situation. At least before, what I wanted to do is avoid this situation. So you see now it's turned red. And if we put a block in there now, turn it on again, you see that the filler does not remove that block when this engine is turned on. And that's because this red state essentially means that the filler is in the off state. It's off. It's never going to do any work because there's no, you know, there's there's there's, there's no um, uh, job scheduled. It doesn't recognize that this is an area for it to remove things. And in order for it to get back to that other state to be ready again, you have to act like remove this, put it back, and now it's green again. And now it can remove a block. Of course, once it does, it turns red again. So this is the problem. This is the thing I was trying to avoid because the only way to reinstate this is to do that. Fine. The cool thing is that you can actually do this now in version 3 of Buildcraft using these suckers, these pipe gates. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail in terms of how pipe gates work. Uh, suffice it to say that if you have a pipe gate, it can go on any pipe. So that's a... Uh, let me just do a really short demonstration here. So any sort of pipe. It can be... Um, 
structural, it can be transport. So let's put like two pipe gates here and here. Let's have one, uh, I'm just going to run redstone to one. Okay, if we right click on this pipe gate, you see this interface right here, and this is just one of the different types of pipe gates. I'm not going to go into too much detail in terms of what's what, because it's not really what we're going to be doing this episode. Just want to get really quick here. Um, the left side essentially is a very various states that you can have, things that can be checked for. So if we click in this, we have um, uh, pipe empty. So that means the pipe that the gate is currently on, if it's empty, um, you also have the possibility of items traversing that pipe. And then that's it. And, you know, the left side... Oh, crap. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. The left side basically demonstrates possibilities for the pipe gate to check. And it can be anything either next to the pipe gate or around the pipe gate or on the pipe that the gate is actually on. So in this case, the only options are pipe empty or items traversing. Because the pipe is currently empty, this is showing that the state is true, this red little signal here. And that means... If the pipe is empty, what you can do is say, in this case, you can say the gate should send out a redstone signal. And so you'll see it's red. If we connect redstone to it, that turns on, basically. So that's cool, right? You can, you can actually do some, some logic stuff. Uh, with this one, since there's redstone right next to the pipe gate, you have a few other options. You have pipe empty, items traversing. You also have redstone signal on or redstone signal off. So you kind of see the idea. It's sort of different possibilities <clears throat> depending on where the pipe is or where the gate is and um, different possibilities for what the pipe gate can do given that uh, current state. So we're going to use just a structural cobblestone pipe because we don't need to have items going into it. We'll stick a pipe gate on there and right click to see where our possibilities are. And this is just the possibility of the, the filler. So we have inventory empty, and that's talking about the inventory of the filler. Now notice that this is actually not true. And the reason why it's not true is because this is also included in the filler inventory when the gate calculates it. So that means it sees items in inventory. It actually sees that there's items in. This is true. There's also space in the inventory. The inventory, however, is not full. <coughs> And then there's these other two states, work scheduled and work done. And you notice how work scheduled, oops, there it is, is true. And that means, essentially, the state of this, if it's green, that means work is scheduled. It means it's kind of ready. Work done means um, it's in the off state. It's red. So that's work done. So what we can do, though, is we can set this to go back. So what we're going to actually do here is work done. And um, we'll see what happens when you turn this on. Just going to let it pump once. It turns red, and you see work done is now saying it's true. Work scheduled is now not true. <coughs> but we're going to be doing is wanting to change the state of this filler back to ready by doing this. So what we can do is we can hook it up to redstone and then say that if there is a redstone signal, what we can do is... Now you have different possibilities for what the gate can do. It can turn on this filler, it can turn it off, or it can put it into loop mode. Now we're going to be doing, we'll try turning it on. So let's turn it on. That should turn it green again, right? You do it, and you notice that nothing happens, right? This doesn't turn back to green. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it turns out you got to do something first. You got to turn it into loop mode. <clears throat> what loop mode essentially does is tell it that the filler. Um, the filler checks blocks from this corner to the upper of that corner, and that's just based on the status of this world, the dimensions of the world, <clears throat> the coordinate system, I should say. So when I said turn it to loop, you notice now it's in the green state. It's ready again. Uh, the funny thing is, is now it's in loop mode, though. It's not in the normal operating filler mode. And how do we know? Well, the normal operating filler mode, if this is empty, when I do this, it's going to turn red once it realizes... But it doesn't. It basically, it's a never-ending mode. It's a mode where it endlessly loops through this thing. We actually don't want that. We want it to go in the on state, though. The on state is the normal state. So what we need to do is, once it's in loop mode, which gets it out of that red state, we need to turn it on. We just do that. Let's give it some redstone signal. 
because once it got the redstone signal, it turned it on. And now, when we toggle this again, we see that it goes right back to red. But again, this is set to turn it on when it gets a redstone signal. When I turn this on again, nothing happens. So we have to do it in this order. Filler goes on. <clears throat> it's in its normal state. It runs. It finishes, finishes its job. Great. At this point in time, what we need to do is turn it into loop mode just once with a pulse. That turns it into this green mode, but now it's in looping mode. We don't want that. We want it to be in this normal on mode. <clears throat> and now it's ready to go again. The, um, the fun thing about this is you can just do this with gates, but the bad thing about this is that um, you can't just put a gate here and then a gate here and activate them by, oops, and activate them by redstone. And this is the reason why. So um, let's just set this to... Um, yeah, in order to get the option, you need to do that. So let me just put some redstone wire here. Let's set this to put on a redstone signal. Or, I'm sorry, uh, let's set this one to <clears throat> nothing. <clears throat> let's set it to, uh, if a redstone signal is on, just turn on a redstone signal. And th what this will do is show us when it's receiving a redstone signal. So it'll be colored red, as you see. Oop. Gets it into an endless loop. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it'll it'll color itself red when it gets a, a redstone signal. So um, we'll have this say when work is scheduled, or I'm sorry, when work is done, because this is in the on state. When it's done, put out a redstone signal. Okay, that's good. So when I run this, it realizes it's done. It turns out a redstone signal, and you see what happened turn this signal on, but this guy is actually thinking it's receiving a redstone signal. This is the problem. So we can't actually have multiple gates connected to this filler, because otherwise it'll, it'll do this. And in fact, it turns on a redstone signal here, which basically activates this block, which essentially activates this engine. Now we can't even shut off the engine. So that's a problem. <clears throat> but there's a way around it, and that's using the sort of advanced gate features. And that would be these, the pipe wires. Pipe wires, there's four different colors. We kind of made them before. There's uh, red, blue, green, and yellow. And you need the higher tier gates in order to interact with them. But essentially what we have here is the same idea. When the filler is done, we want it to output a signal. And that's this middle line right here. And then we want to be able to loop it, which is going to be this switch. And then set it to the on state, which is that switch. So here's the little the idea here. I'm going to right click on this gate and you'll see. Looks a little confusing, but this is just a diamond OR gate, which basically means any one of these, um, uh, basically, if it happens, if this is happening on the left, do this thing on the right. And that's, and you just have a list of possibilities here, and if any of these happen on the left, do the thing that it says on the right. So, if the work is done, which means if it's in that red state, I have it set to set out a red pipe signal. So... It's um, now in the on state, so let me just turn it on, have it finish its job, realize that that's the case. Now you see how this is true now. It's sending out a red pipe signal. And then this gate I have saying, if it receives a red pipe signal, send out a redstone signal. Cool. So this way, we essentially took this redstone signal that we'd normally set out right here and extended it to, in this case, it's as far as you want. I think there's no limit to these pipe wires, but I'm not sure, to the distance, but I'm not sure. All right, so that's cool. And then I have the other state here. If it receives a blue pipe signal, turn it into loop mode, which again, will turn this from red to green, but it'll be in loop mode. And if we look at this, the blue pipe wire is connected to this gate, which is set to say, if it receives a redstone signal, turn on the blue pipe signal. So that means when we give this power, it turns on that blue signal. This is now green, and you see how that red current shut off? So now this is in the looping state, this filler right here. Now we need to get it, now this will this will endlessly loop, and we don't want that because this means that it'll never get to that red state, which is what we want because we want it to output a signal when it gets to that red state. So now what we have to do is turn it into the on state. So if I right click here, we have if a green pipe signal is received, go into the on state. And again, 
this pipe is set up to say when it receives redstone signal, green pipe signal. So this turns it into the on state. And now if I put some blocks in here, let it remove them, it should now finish. And it re realizes that it's in the off state. It sends out a signal, which is what we want to happen because we need this to essentially start the tree farm again. And then we'll just have to set it to after that reset and then on and then do it again and then it'll do another harvest cycle it'll finish it'll do this it'll tell the, the tree farm to restart it again and then we'll reset it by that followed by that we'll have to send a pulse here first and then delay it and then set it to here uh, and you can't do those pulses at the same time it doesn't work um, okay so i wasted enough time with that let's go ahead and put this into effect in our tree farm Okay, back again. And um, actually, in order to put it into in into effect, what we got to do is get rid of these builders up top first. Awesome, we get to get rid of those builders. This is this is weird and awesome at the same time because um, I it's kind of I'm happy that you can do this, but at the same time, this is a really elegant solution. I I've always liked this solution to this problem, but um, that's okay. We can use version three of Buildcraft. I'm gonna want to upgrade to this sort of thing at one point in time anyway, so that's awesome. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I ever said this, but the um, the guy who, who made the comment that made me realize that uh, you could do this, his name, I think he's he's toxic 13 Unny, which essentially is um, an ASCII character way of saying Toxic Bunny. So thank you, Toxic Bunny, very much for that comment. Um, really awesome. Uh, I didn't realize you could do this in, uh, in Buildcraft. So yeah, I don't know everything. So that's awesome. Thanks. Thank you so much. This is really uh, pretty cool. So uh, I can get rid of all this stuff. I actually put in a bunch of these wires. I had a, I had actually had an episode um, recorded and everything, and almost ready to go in terms of editing. But uh, then I realized that I could do this, and it's a lot better and easier to do it this way. So that's cool. So now I won't have to have these builders here. I won't have to have that guy, and I won't have to have all this redstone wiring. I won't have to have this one. So I'm gonna take a take away this, this stuff. Oh, okay. Ow. Um, and I'll be right back. And so it's done. It's raining out here, but uh, yeah, there's still a few remnants, as you see, that I'll have to get rid of. Uh, pipe up there, pipes up there. Um, but for the most part, this is all done now. And what I need to do now is... I'll just have a back way of getting in here. Um, okay, well, so I set up a line here for the... Uh, for the harvest filler. So let's see, it's right, it's not here. It's uh, this line right here. This is the harvest filler line. I'll probably label that. The other two lines I've already run here is the two, okay, this used to be the planting end safety builders, but really it's just now the, wow, I filled up my inventory again. Um, but this is just for the planting builder, and this is for the reset for the planting builder. And I kind of had to mush, since there's this redstone engine, that redstone engine, and a combustion engine just up there. I kind of had to cram all this in this small space, so this torch on is the reset, planting builder reset torch. This torch on is actually the um, pumps the fuel out of this uh, extra storage tank in front of the tree farm, and it takes it to that combustion engine and the other one. And then this one is, if it's off, that turns on this torch, which then sends the signal to this combustion engine. Um, I'll put some, I'll, I'll cover up a, a lot of this wiring. Um, I actually might put like a window over here and a window over there in the end. I think that would be kind of cool. But what we're ready to do now is to set up the... Um, the pipe gate system for this uh, for this filler. So what we're going to do first, though, is run the structural pipes here. Now the structural pipes doesn't matter if they connect to anything. It really doesn't matter at all. It's just uh, it's just running these structural pipes. So I'm going to go down in the basement here now. Run the structural. Oops. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Run the structural pipe down, and uh, I'm just going to run it down to here. And then I think what I'll do is, you know, set this as at least the point of going various ways. Um, one we're gonna have to have as send out a redstone signal. Um, 
And then we're going to have to have another one, which is send out a redstone signal or receive a signal for resetting, turning into loop mode. And another one, which is, you know, I think I need to have at least two spaces in between, but maybe not. And then another one is going to be, um, yeah, this, this might be enough. Uh, we'll see here. I, th I think this, is bit, this will be enough. And another one's going to be uh, receive an on signal. So we'll, we'll see about this. Actually, I might be able to just do it this way. All right, so I'm going to get some pipe wires and run those. And then uh, some pipes, as, uh, some gates as well. I think I need to make a few more. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, now that we have our gates, let's put them into play. So um, for this one, we actually want a diamond ore gate up here. Uh, the ore gate just means that um, not everything here has to be true. If you have an AND gate, in order for anything to happen on the right side of these things, you need to have everything on the left side be true. Um, this is not what we want. Okay, so we want a special circumstance for if work is done. Uh, and then, well, I'll set up the other ones after I set up wire. Oh, wires! I forgot wires. I need wires. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with wires. Red, blue, yellow, and green. Okay, so we're just going to use red, green, and blue for this. Uh, let's see, red, 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 and we'll get the rest. Green, 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 green. Uh, and then blue, 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 and blue. And blue's on this side. Okay, so that should be... That should be all set. Alright, cool. Let's go down. Continue these wires. Blue, 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 blue. We're going to use the same color schemes. Uh, I'm going to put them all out to here. Red. Red, 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 red. Hopefully it extends properly. Looks like it is. Okay. And then, okay, we already got blue, we need green. Okay, green is extending. And I think green is underneath. Yeah, green's on the bottom here, right there. So, okay. So we'll see what's up. Okay, this is the um, three positions we're going to have. One is for the harvest filler done or off, which is going to be a red signal. Um, and so we, we can actually set that here. So we'll go back here. Do, 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 on our diamond ore gate. Right click. This means send out a red pipe signal. Alright, cool. So this is when uh, and this is because the filler is actually not it's not reset. It's a uh, it's in the red state. You can't see it right now, but well, it is, for real. For real guys. Uh, in which case I'm gonna set the iron it doesn't have to be in it can be an iron ore at the end. I'm just I have more of the end gate, so we'll do that. Uh, red pipe signal on. Send out a redstone signal. Alright, cool. Boo -doo. There it is. So this means it's done. It's in the off state. That's cool. Alright, set harvest filler to loop. Uh, that's gonna be the blue one. So oop. There you go. So the blue wire is going to go up to here, and then the green wire is going to go oops, all the way over to here. Okay, so this is going to set f harvest filler to loop. That's blue. I think gold is enough for that. Um, it could be the ore or the end. I'm just going to use an ore gate because I have a few of those. If the blue... no. So if a redstone signal is on, send a blue pipe signal. That's the loop. And this is if the... Um, is green able to? Nah, we're not gonna. We're not able to do the green. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, the annoying part about this is if you delete everything, you gotta, you know, you gotta build it again on a pipe section. Um, so this is we need an iron. I mean, I'm sorry. We need diamond. Diamond is able to talk to green and yellow wires. Gold is able to talk to blue and red wires. And um, iron is able to talk to the red wires. If you have anything less than iron, you can't talk to any wires at all. So, but uh, in order to talk to this green wire, I need this. Oops. There we go. All right. So this is to set it to on. This is to set it to loop, and this is going to be set it to done. 
this red wire is already set, and it's set up there. Um, and now we have to go the other way and set on the gate up here. We have to say if you get a... No, not red. Uh, if a blue pipe signal is received, set that to the loop state. And if the green pipe signal is received, set yourself to the on state. So, alright. We'll see if this works. So in order to test if it works, basically remember if we set it to loop... Oh, if we set it to the on state first, when it was in the off state, it actually doesn't change its state. So if we do this, nothing changes here. Um, if we set it to loop, though, this should go off, and it should be in a loop state, which means that if we run it, it'll never reach the off state. So... There we go. See? And this turned off because now it's in the loop state up there. Now we want to turn it into the on state. There we go. And um, I believe there's no blocks there. So let's see. I believe there's no blocks in here. So since there's no blocks in that area, we can have it... Um, oh, you know what? There might be... There might be the safety builder um, blocks. We'll, we'll remove those. Because what I'll do is I will set this to on and this is for harvest filler. So when I set that to on, is it is it running its its stuff? It's actually done. Yeah, it actually finished. See, that's that's red. Um, and then let's go test it and see. Yep, it's it's work finished. So when I turn this off, it's still finished. We'd need to set it to loop and then on. Cool. All right. So this is working. Now let's just, uh, it's just a matter of hooking up some of these things to circuitry and doing the same over here. So let's, uh, let's get into that. Okay, I know I said that let's, uh, let's do it, but actually let's not, because this video is already about 27 minutes or so, we're already pretty much out of time. So, man, time flies when you're learning and using the new features in BuildCraft. So pretty cool guys, this is how we can reset our builder. Next episode we'll put in the circuitry for this as well as the planting builder. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching and thanks again um, Toxic Bunny for your little comment there. It really uh, really actually helped me out. I'm sure other people probably knew this as well, but uh, you were the first to comment and say it, so thanks a lot. See you in the next video guys, and uh, take care.